as y'all can see, I made it to the gym and I don't know what I'm doing today. I just know that I'm about to get on the treadmill this morning. So if I just do the treadmill, I just do the treadmill and go home. I don't know. We'll see. But So you guys, my mother has this 365 day devotional for women and I just so happened to walk past by it and I was like, I was being a little nosy to be honest because I was like, what is in this book? Because I'm always doing devotionals and today is August the 8th. So I was like, let me come on here and read something for you guys. So today's topic is suffering and it gives you a scripture, commentary and a question. So this is the scripture that is coming for for suffering. It is 2 Corinthians 12, chapter 12, verse 10, TPT version. And it says, I'm not defeated by my weakness, but delighted. For when I feel my weakness and endure mistreatment, when I'm surrounded with troubles on every side and face persecution because of my love for Christ, I am made yet stronger. For my weakness becomes a portal to God's power. Y'all, so just so beautiful. And then the commentary says, God does not delight in your suffering. Many may read through the Bible and think God takes pleasure in our suffering. Nothing could be further from the truth. What God does want to accomplish in our life is holiness. Often it takes insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles to humble us before God. Our best life is not one free of suffering, but one totally reliant on God's grace. If you look back a couple of verses, it speaks of how Paul was being harassed. This was directly from Satan, and what Satan intended to harm and discourage him with was used to bring Paul to his knees before God in humility. If whatever is thrown our way is constantly keeping us from becoming puffed up with self-reliant pride and on our knees before God, let it come. God is not delighting in your pain. Though relief may not come, God is at work in you through it. How does this passage change your view of suffering? That is so good. God doesn't want us to suffer. He wants us to be holy. He's trying to help us through it. And when we start to rely on ourselves, that's when we are subjected to more hardships, more turmoil, more just craziness of life. And God is like, I'm here. Be relying on me because I can help you through it. So that changed my perspective on suffering to like, no, like, even though we suffer, rely on God because he's going to help us through it. But when we rely on ourselves, we subject ourselves to more just mess, to be honest. But yeah, that was really good. I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys. So yeah, I'm about to get my day started. Me and my friend are going to a coffee shop so I can get some work done and she can get some work done. And that's just going to be the vibe for today. But yeah, I love you, SBCs. Bye. So y'all, my sister just got off of work and she surprised me with hibachi. And it's like this place that we have ate at before. Where is her phone? She sent me in the car to get her phone. Oh, here it is. Okay. And so she bought me some hibachi and I will show y'all when I get it because we got it to, to go. So yeah.
I am a winner. You show someone your good odds. I am a winner. <laughs> I am a winner. I am a winner. Let it, let it, let it pull up. Let it pull up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see. Let's see. I am Mario. Yes. 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 If you see you have made it to the end of the vlog, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that jazz. And you guys, my week was so chill. It was so productive. And I had so much fun going over to my friend's house to play Mario Kart because if you know, then you know. Because I love playing Mario Kart. I love playing games with my friends. I think it's kind of funny how we all each respond differently when it, when we are in a gaming zone. And when I tell you guys, it was so hilarious. Like, I could not stop laughing. None of us could not stop laughing. And I was like, y'all need to stop laughing so we could focus so I can win and I did but yeah <laughs> but that being said SBCs we're gonna close out this vlog and by the way my birthday my birthday is less than 24 hours away so stay tuned for that birthday content that's coming up because my birthday is on August the 13th and yeah and it's on a Tuesday but yeah so all of my social links are in the description box below but I love you SBC so 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 much I love you so much and continue to seek God's face, stay prayed up, and I will see you in a later vlog. But yeah, I love you SBCs. Bye!